right, let's continue with the Jurassic Park. We're in the, the depths. After three, episode three of the depths. Let's resume. What are we doing here? Damn it. All our weapons were in there. I was just getting used to that AK, too. Better keep checking her out. If she's gonna blow, we don't want to be anywhere nearby. Yeah, you should have had some sort of handgun. Gonna take more than an auxiliary power unit to fix her this time. Looking pretty safe. One more look, just to be sure. Is it the fire? What am I looking? Oh, there we go. <sighs> no fuel left. Must have been a hell of a blast. That chopper's done all the exploding she's ever gonna do. Should be safe to make camp here. I wouldn't make camp with that lady around. She's already tried to kill you like three times at this point. I should see if the girl's okay. Is that, is that what I'm supposed to do now? I don't know. I would handcuff her to a, to a wall. Oscar might want to talk to her when she wakes up. Let's postpone that little reunion. Alright, am I supposed to have some other... Alright. Wow. And shaving cream. I have a can just like this back in San Jose. Oh man, I hope it's not for her face. Heavier than I remember. Could just be full, I guess. It's only sloshing at the top. Sounds half empty, feels full. Why is that? My stepbrother used to store his second set of keys in a fake pop can. I wonder. A lady has a secret stash, but what the hell is it? Right. No way the Tyrannosaurus Rex would be this far over. Immediately. T-Rex, it's leaving. Damn it, Oscar. I only have one pair of pants. The chopper's not gonna blow, but just about everything in it, including our weapons, is flame broiled. No game trails, no nests. This is base camp for now. Hey, get this. I found this can of shaving cream in her pack. Didn't think you needed any. Yeah, whatever you say, fuzzy. Except it's not really shaving cream. Look. Hmm. So, now what's the plan? That shaving cream can looks like some real CIA stuff. What do you think she's up to? Ask her when I ain't around. If she won't tell you, I'll make her talk my way. We gonna try to salvage this gig? Yeah. I'm gonna go look for our friends. Uh, shouldn't I come with? We lost the guns. Means I gotta be in stealth mode. <laughs> you saying I can't sneak? I'm saying neither one of us can sneak and watch her at the same time. Besides, she won't talk with me around. But maybe pretty boy Billy can get her to open up. Yeah, it's a tough job. Look at that grin. That frozen grin. I don't know, the giant man is his best stealth. All slightly. Dios mío, the open doors. Should have stayed in bed. Got that. Oh. Prompts are coming in 
wild and fast. thing about this uh, game is the dinosaurs are always, always hungry. Yeah, he's the big, the big beefy guy is the, is the stealth. Are you going to stand here all day? Right, we should have moved. Locked. Smoked. Well, they can open doors. Uh, I guess I have to go to that vent eventually. I can go through the door, I'd imagine, but... Is my only course of action here? Yes. Got a knife. I'm gonna fight the raptors with a knife now. I don't think that's the best of ideas, but that's just me. What was the point of typing on that control, that thing? Got a copy of half the fact that girl. No, nope, copy left. I feel real. How am I not bad? The whole community is asking that question, lady. Like. Find it funny that you're supposed to like be sensitive, like uh, you're supposed to like this lady and hate the other guys, but just, everything she's home. done is just destroyed everything. Does. Looks like I was only out for a little while. The embryo should be okay for now. At least one of them pulled me out of there. Not sure I'd do the same. Exactly. Like, you're supposed to root for her, but she's like the worst person ever. I understand she's got a, she's got a reason for it and all that, but... Really, like... What we've seen, these two guys are the best characters. Where's the father, king? The son. Father, the daughter. Neta, no, no, no! Looking for this? That's mine! You know, this takes me back. I learned to shave with this stuff. Give it back! Now! I'm all out of shaving cream myself. You mind if I borrow some? Stop shaking it! But you're supposed to shake it before you use it. Says so right on the can. You want to tell me what's so important about shaving cream? Or do I ask InGen? Make something up crazy! Yeah, let's do that. It, it was my lover's. He died fighting for the revolution in Chile. It's all I have of his. Please give it back. Oh, that is so sweet. So, let me get this straight. Your Marxist revolutionary boyfriend made it a top priority to keep his face silky smooth. He must have been a very sensitive guy. I ain't stupid, lady. You wanna try again? Embryos. They're dinosaur embryos. If you drop them, they'll be destroyed. Look, Yoder. Billy, right? Maybe we can make a deal. This ought to be good. Shoot. Uh. And he's greedy. There's a lot of money in it for you if I get those embryos to my contact before they go bad. Tell him a story. Sell it. They're valuable. Those embryos are worth over a million. That's U.S. dollars. I have a buyer. I just need to... Million for them? I don't know. That's a little bit too little. Oh, yeah, right. 
Like InGen isn't gonna shine a light on an independent contractor like me when they figure out the crown jewels are missing. No sale. You turn that over to InGen. You get a pat on the back. Maybe a little Christmas bonus. You leave it to me, you become a rich man. Pay off your debts, quit your job. No more guys in suits telling you what to do. Just think about it. Okay. Keep talking. Please. I don't expect you to trust me. But the right thing to do is to give it back to me and let me go. Oh. Must I reveal my daughter? One, uh, one merc to another? Share my people's plight. I have a daughter. I need the money to get her out of the ghetto. You know what happens to girls there. She doesn't deserve that life. Are you for real? Come on, Billy. The money's good. And you'll be helping me save my daughter. Everybody gets a little something. Except for Oscar. Screw him. Okay, here's the deal. One, I'm in charge. I keep the embryos. And as soon as it's safe to break away, we'll deliver them to your contact. I don't know if the embryos will last in there much longer. That's a risk we're gonna take. Two, we're cutting Oscar in. Why? Because he's my partner, that's why. Oh. It'll be fine. Trust me. Now sit tight and lighten up. Not every woman gets to enjoy the sunset on a tropical island with Billy Yoder. Exactly. Yoder's like more... Yoder's not a bad guy. So, any idea where we are in relation to the rest of the park? We're not far from the marine exhibit. I know for a fact that the phone there is in working order, or at least it was this morning. Did we get there from the tunnels? I believe so. All right then, lead the way. I want to get us out of here as soon as possible. No more science projects, okay? That's all is it there I is. Understand. Don't Who's worry, Laura? Jess. We should be safe in here. Where do all these doors lead? The maintenance corridors. The park's essential systems are in there. Uh, electrical, water, air conditioning, you know, that sort of thing. The tunnels on this side are for transporting animals, personnel, and food. That's why they're so big. They are separate from the maintenance side to prevent accidents. So, Laura, I've been meaning to ask you, why don't you do your radio show anymore? You had a radio show? Well, it wasn't really radio. I'd hack into the park intercom and play choice cuts from my record collection. Lately, I haven't had the time. Did you really have to show Artie Bridges how to do it? Believe me, I regret it. But how was I to know how bad he was? He begged me, said it was his dream to be in radio. You know what, he should stick to managing the janitorial group. He is awful. He certainly is. I guess there was a reason it was just a dream. He actually records his show ahead of time so that he can broadcast during work hours. Did you guys hear that? Sounded like a rat. Mm-hmm. Dinosaurs aren't the only invasive species InGen brought to the island. There are lots of rats in these tunnels. Maintenance is always setting traps down here. Well, as long as we're getting no one another, how is it that Dr. Wu became chief geneticist over you? That's Better. an easy one. Frogs. You're saying frogs kept you from getting promoted? Specifically, their DNA. Before we could clone any dinosaurs, we had to decide how to fill in the gaps in the DNA sequences we found. I remember this from the tour. You found dino blood inside mosquito fossils, right? That's right. I wanted a complete prehistoric genome, cross-referencing all of the DNA found in the various amber samples. It would have been safer. But would have taken time the board of directors didn't want to spend. Well, even Dr. Hammond's spare no expense philosophy has limits, I guess. Exactly. Henry, Dr. Wu, proposed using frog DNA to fill in the gaps. It was risky. We still don't know all of the effects. But it was a solution, and a fast one at that. So Henry became chief geneticist, and I took to the field. Are you sure we shouldn't head to the visitor center, Dr. Sorkin? InGen is bound to start there when they don't hear from the rescue team. 
These tunnels don't run all the way to the visitor center, and I don't know about you, but I'd rather not risk any more overland travel. Good point. Where are we going? My cigarettes. I could swear I had some. I didn't realize you smoked. Normally, I manage to duck out a few times a day, but we've been preoccupied. Where did you last have them? Right here in my pocket, or so I thought. Maybe they fell out when we jumped from the water tower? I suppose. Oh well, I'm probably better off without them. Yes? Up the maniac. Do you mind if we stop for a rest? My legs are killing me. I suppose we could all use a break. Ah. Uh. I don't know how much longer those embryos will last. We need to meet my contact at the boat. We're staying here until Oscar gets back. We don't even know if he's alive. Oscar's fine. He's coming back. And come hell or high water, we are not leaving. A Tyrannosaurus Rexes. Constantly attacks Again, us. Maybe you have a point. Come on, we gotta run. No time. Hide. Oh god! <laughs> Out of here! Don't move! It can't see you unless you move! Of course. Off face, stupid. Amazing that T-Rex is all over the island. Osiraptor stalking them. Care for a lysine supplement? No thanks. Well, you know what? Actually, you know what? Maybe I will. All this running around, my muscles probably need whatever protein I can give them. My thoughts exactly. I haven't gotten this much exercise since Carnival. I guess we've got a lot of extra lysine now that the parasaurs don't need the external supply. Yeah, uh, about that. It's not just the parasaurs. We added the antidote to the main water supply. But that'll reach every dinosaur in the park. The lysine contingency... You're insane! Denying the dinosaurs lysine was the only safety mechanism we had to keep them out of the global ecosystem. Oh. Uh, what about their ecosystem? These animals are now part of the global ecosystem, whether we like it or not. We can't expect them to exist outside of it. There's not an environment on Earth, including this one, that can maintain equilibrium with, with these animals around. Invasive species, it, it doesn't even begin to describe the problem. Ecosystem will adjust now, I don't think so. Yeah, this, uh, this one will work out so well, especially with that one dinosaur you're keeping. Do I need to remind you that there are 120 miles of ocean between Isla Nublar and the mainland? The Lysine contingency was cruel and unnecessary. Yes, it wasn't. They can swim. What about the Paradons? Tell me this. Did you reverse the Lysine contingency with the Pteranodons? No. My formula targets superorder dinosauria exclusively. 
If I tried to account for the pteranodons, I might have affected other reptiles. Oh, at least there's that. Now that I think about it, though, targeting only pteranodons, or any one species, would be a simple change. I wouldn't even need a full lab. Am I gonna have to ask Jess to follow you into the ladies' room? It won't come to that. If I decide to do it, I won't sneak around, and I won't involve you. I'm sorry the way I went about it last time upset you. Well, thanks for the apology, I guess, but this isn't about me. Yes, the ocean provides a natural barrier, but how can you guarantee InGen won't move some of these dinosaurs to a less isolated place? Look, I'll tell InGen all about this when we get off the island. They can make an informed decision about if and where they want to move any dinosaurs. They have to do this one so stupid. Do you know for a fact that none of these animals can swim? Oh, no, come I don't. on, Jerry. It's how Asian elephants migrated to Sri Lanka from India. There's precedent. You're being ridiculous. There's no evidence sauropods were swimmers. None. You have that. You have that one dinosaur. That one dinosaur that can't swim. Supposing Won't spoil that what it is. can swim. I find it highly unlikely that one could make it through 120 miles of open water through ocean currents, sharks. Highly unlikely? 20 years ago, would you ever have predicted dinosaur cloning? Ever. 20 days ago. Would you have predicted a complete failure of all our park security? Is what I fear that hard to imagine? No, I suppose not. The remote possibility that a dinosaur could make it to the mainland is far outweighed by our responsibility to treat these animals humanely. They're here because of us. They're eating us. Ever. Look, let's just agree to disagree for now. But I'll have to tell InGen when this is all over. I understand. Are you guys done yet? Jess, where'd you go? Just down the hall looking at stuff. Not that you noticed, I was gone. I'm sorry, honey, I was distracted. But don't go off again like that, okay? Yeah, okay. There's no way a Velociraptor would stay that close to the Tyrannosaur. Okay, never mind. One down there, I didn't even see that. Amazing. What is it done? Like a ballet dancer or something. Uh thanks. What? Damn, you're lucky. You ought to forget our deal and buy a lottery ticket. The embryos. Yeah, yeah, relax. I uh I, uh, I dropped them. You lost it. You lost it? It must have fallen out. Of course, right in the middle of the road. That's right. Go. Get this one right at we'll get this one next episode.